guys, so we are at TGI Fridays, close by the Cribble. And got a Corona light. Jimbo's got a... A slushy strawberry. A strawberry slushy. <laughs> <laughs> and just waiting on our food. I ordered chicken chipotle nachos or something like that. And Jimbo ordered... A sizzling chicken... Sizzling skillet. Chicken skillet. Anyway. Um, we've been here before, and I don't know if you follow my vlogs for a really long time. You probably heard me rant about this place. They are so slow. Yeah. But it's nice. This place is fairly new. So, what, a couple years old now? Yeah, they redid it after San It's close to the movie theaters, too. Yes, it is close to the movie theater. And Cold Stone. And Cold Stone. So, here's my nachos. This is not what I was expecting, but I'm going to try it anyway. There's Jimbo's. That looks really, really good. Yummy! I hope it's yummy. Hey guys, so I'm outside. Jimmy's inside eating. I just walked out because... <sighs> Number one, okay. I can tolerate a lot from people, but I cannot tolerate bad service when you're paying them. This is like my biggest pet peeve. Like when you're going somewhere and you're paying them, and they have a bad attitude and they want to argue with you and they bring you the wrong shit and then get smart with you i have a low tolerance for that and um so anyway she brought me the wrong shit and i told her that and she proceeded to argue with me and tell me there was chicken on there when there wasn't and um it was completely the wrong order and i told her that so she's like i'm just gonna get the manager and so he came and he clearly saw it was the wrong thing it's like everywhere you go, this is, the customer service in New York is the worst. Like the worst. You wait forever. The food is crap. The service is crap. And they expect good tips. It's just ridiculous. Like biggest pet peeve in the world. So I told Jimmy I'm going to come outside and smoke a cigarette because I don't want to sit at the table and be in a bad mood. So I'm going to get myself together and go back in there. Hopefully they fix it and don't spit on my shit. <laughs> Being boring again, running errands. <laughs> I'm at Dunkin' Donuts waving on the coffee. We're here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, and i um, about to go visit some friends. So I just want to pop on here and say what's up. Hopefully it'll be a fun night. And I'll keep you guys posted. There's like this shadow on my face. But it looks like they just had like a block party or something around here because it was like, Real crowded and people in the streets and food and music and all that. So, I took this back. Yes, you did. Fight night. Fight night. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Oh, yeah, it's not really about going from cashing welfare checks to cashing one of the biggest oh, checks shit. in combat <laughs> sports history. <laughs> Did you see me? Did you see me? Today is Sunday and um, we just got done running some errands, went to the store, went to McDonald's for breakfast and now we are going to Kings Plaza Mall because I'm going to do a Forever 21 try on um, for you guys for my main channel and I might get something, a little something, something, we'll see but yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're at the mall. Morning. Um, well, actually, I think it's close to noon by now. I'm just running to the 99 cent store, running errands. I know people, well, people have commented on my videos, oh, it's boring watching you do errands. I'm sorry, that's what I do. 
I guess I'm gonna keep vlogging my life if you guys wanna keep seeing it. But that's what I'm doing, I'm running errands. I'm gonna run by the deli too after that. It is a beautiful day today. It is sunny, nice, not hot, I'm loving it. Been on here with some good news. So this morning, earlier this morning, I made a video and uploaded it on my main channel just talking about how I had a breakdown and stuff like that and just feeling, you know, kind of down about things in my life and my career. I just got a call back finally from this new casting agency that I'm dealing with and I'm going to be on a show called Violet. I don't know much about the show. Um, I have to call tonight for my call time wardrobe and all that, but I do know I will be working tomorrow. I am super, super happy and excited. Um, persistence pays off because I have been applying for several roles and this is another background role but it's getting me on set and that's where I want to be but um, I've been applying for different roles with this company for a while now and I haven't been getting any calls back and um, I was getting a little discouraged but I'm like you know I'm just gonna be persistent and I'm gonna keep applying keep applying and they just gave me a call back so I'm super super excited about this and just so happy Good morning guys, I am on my way to the train to go to Times Square. My eyes are all puffy and irritated from these eyelash extensions, but um, but yeah, I'm on my way to the train and um, I'm going to Times Square because I am going on set. So I'm super excited and I'm going to take you guys along. neighborhood from um, being in Times Square all day as you saw well I don't know if you saw or not but it's pouring down rain it has been all day I was literally out in the rain all day and plus I did not sleep last night it slept like one hour and I'm trying the new maple pecan ice latte with almond milk um it's okay i wouldn't say it's gross but it's not my favorite i definitely prefer the butter pecan pecan whatever but um yeah this is the maple pecan um it's one of the new fall flavors and they have the pumpkin back also I mean, I'm drinking it. It's not disgusting, but it's not my fave. But it's still pouring outside. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm about to walk home. I got my umbrella, but I would have had my umbrella on set, but they told us to leave them inside because we were supposed to be portraying um, that it was like in the summer. So I had on like sunglasses and everything. Thank God, because I have horrible bags because of no sleep. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much coming down and I have on sandals. So, I'm going to go home and um, go check on Mr. Bruno and wait on my man to get home. I am back home now, as you see. It's about 5.30. I have eaten. I think I'm almost dry. I really just need to take a shower. Like, these clothes are all dry now, but... I was freaking soaked. It literally rained on us all day. It first started just like sprinkling and then it just really started coming down. But um, I wanted to say something, you guys, because, okay, you guys know I'm not big into TV. Like I hardly watch any TV. I've said several times in my vlogs, like 
the one thing that I always like to watch or at least catch up on maybe like once a week is General Hospital, which is a soap opera that comes on ABC. It has for years. It's been there since before I was born. I grew up on it. I feel like I know these people. Like all the ABC soaps I was connected to, but the other two, um, which was One Life to Live and General Hospital, or One Life to Live and All My Children got taken off the air for the chew and whatever but but anyway general hospital is the one last soap opera that i grew up on that still shows on abc there is a um woman by the name of finola hughes who has been on there since i can remember like when i was a little kid she was on there and she plays the character anna devane so anyway, um, you guys know I was working in Times Square and um, we're standing there in between takes or whatever waiting and we're standing outside and I see this woman and I'm like, man, she looks familiar. She had like her head down and then she put her head up. She had like a gray long trench coat on. Um, like I said, it was a rainy day. She had an umbrella and I look again and right and standing in front of me is Fanola Hughes, Anna Devane. I'm just like... Anna Devane! I couldn't think of her real name. <laughs> I'm like, hi, Anna Devane! And she, like, looks up and looks at me and, like, smiles and waves at me. I was just like, oh, my God. I, like, low-key, I freaked out on the inside because I've been watching her since I was a little kid. Ugh, it was just crazy. It was, like, so surreal. Like, I don't get... I don't get that starstruck. Like, when I worked with Ice-T, I thought he was cool. But it was almost like just hanging out with a friend. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't that starstruck. And, like, you know, I've dated famous people and stuff like that. And I wasn't that starstruck. But for some reason, when I saw her, because she's always been, like, so poised. And so she's British. And, um... I don't know. It's almost like I've known her all these years, but not really known her. You know what I mean? So to be right there face to face, I'm just like, oh my God. I, like my heart was beating fast. Like it really was. So anyway, that kind of made my day, even though I was freezing and cold all day, but it was a good day's work. I got home at a decent time. I was so scared that we were going to go late, late, late into the night because last time when I was trying to get my call times for today, I was calling at 11, 1130, and they still didn't have the call times out because they were still on set. Finally, the call times came out like a little after midnight. So I was freaking thinking we were going to be on set like all day, all night. But nope, we got out of there at like 4 o'clock, so I'm happy about that. Um, anyway, I'm about to edit a vlog, and I might try to edit a video for my main channel and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna like lounge around because I didn't get any sleep last night. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.